Hello and welcome to the first KLTV news of 2017. We start with international news with a national twist. Former UKIP leader Nigel Farage has been attempting to distance himself from a former aide. George Cottrell ran Farage's private office and aided with media requests. Now, however, the 22-year-old faces up to 20 years in an American jail after attempting to pose online as a money launderer in an attempt to scam dark web drug dealers. Unfortunately for Cottrell, the drug dealers in question were actually undercover FBI agents. He will be sentenced in March and could face 20 years in prison and a fine of £203,500. National news, and it has been revealed that chief executives of FTSE 100 companies had earned as much by Wednesday afternoon as the average worker will do all year. You heard me right. By the 4th of January 2017, bosses of top companies had earned what the average worker will all year. The FTSE 100 bosses have seen their average wage rise from £3.4 million a year in 2010 to around £4 million, according to figures from the High Pay Centre. The think tank stated that Fat Cat Wednesday is an important reminder of the continuing problem of the unfair pay gap in the UK. Regional news and a 3.8 magnitude earthquake has struck off the coast of North Yorkshire. The tremor was detected around 100 miles east of Scarborough in the North Sea. A British Geological Service spokesperson said that whilst people may have felt the minor tremor, it is unlikely to have caused structural damage to buildings. Local news, and really there is only one story that we can discuss. However, we at KLTV have to live in this community too, and we feel that anything we add at this time can only really add to the emotional tension that is already running high in the area. Certain facts have been released, and we assure you will have seen those on other outlets. It's easy to put emotion-based content out there, and sure, that creates an emotional response, and that gets lots of comments, and probably sells. Yet we do not feel that that is worth creating further tension and possible clashes. That is why we simply appeal for calm from all sections of the community. We would like to pass on our condolences to the family. To love your child isn't a crime. That's all from KLTV News. Goodbye.